Happy Monday morning, everybody. It is a glorious day this morning. The sun is not out. It's in the 50s. There's a nice breeze. The birds are chirping. This is what a spring morning is supposed to be like for me. Uh, we had a fantastic time this weekend going to the Sights and Sounds Theater up in Branson, Missouri and went and seen Jesus. It was a phenomenal show. I'm not sure how they did a lot of the theatrics with the movement of the ships and the buildings and all that on the stage. Very neat, uh, very entertaining. Definitely highly recommend for somebody that would be interested in that. I think they also have one up in Pennsylvania, maybe, a Sights and Sounds Theater up there. But this one here was phenomenal. So if you're ever in the Branson area and looking for something to do, uh, you might want to book in advance because I think it does sell out. But great show. Great show. Really enjoyed it. Had a nice peaceful weekend. Had a good break. And it's time to get back after it. Uh, baby chicks have been hatching this weekend. We have not had quite the turnout we had hoped for yet. Uh, only two of the silky so far out of ten. Uh, these were due Saturday evening, so we're actually starting into day 23 right now. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of chicklin, chicklin. I'm going to do a little bit of chicken shuffling today in what I'm calling our brooder house, I guess, at the moment. And I'm going to get all of those chicks back together outside of that small brooder. That way these little guys can move into the small brooder. I'm going to have to put the roof back on it since these guys are everywhere. They're all over the place in there. But that's going to be on my agenda today. I've also got quite a bit of little greenery coming up in the garden. And it seems like a fantastic day to run the tiller through in between the aisles. Just get everything cleaned up and do a little bit of weeding. Uh, I know I'm going to start doing that a lot more regularly, but uh, I need to get that done. It, it hasn't really been an issue. I've just been kind of hand-picking here and there. See you, Luce. <laughs> Chickens everywhere. Uh, we did some checking on the broody hens. Uh, she has started hatching a few of her own also in there. So we've got the baby chicks in this house. We've got baby chicks in the incubator. And we've got baby chicks in the other chicken house. So I have no idea how many chickens we currently have. None whatsoever. Um, in the house right now, we have nine total is all we've hatched. Uh, two of those are silkies. Uh, we've got the 20, 21, 21. I don't remember. Uh, in here from the others plus our nine so we're in the neighborhood of at least 40 plus right now chickens running around here uh, was kind of hoping to settle out somewhere in the 40 to 50 range total uh, we'll just have to see how that lands we've also got the other hen in there that is still broody yes jeff both of those uh, hens are broody in there who knew who knew but Pilfer through the garden today, get it cleaned up. I'm gonna work on chicken shuffling. And maybe, maybe I can get over here and get some holes dug for this house or shop. I better not call it a house, it's my shop. I don't wanna make that a permanent fixture. For Mother's Day, Miss Angela got to go with me to Lowe's and pick up most of our plumbing for this shop over here so we've got majority of that in place and i know that is her absolute favorite activity is the plumbing department at lowe's but i hope everybody had a great mother's day and happy mother's day to all those a little belated it's a day late and or however late you're watching this now but let's try to get our day started here it's monday get up and do something after you finish watching this video, of course, but get up and do something today, even if it's just a load of laundry. You know you need to go move those clothes from the washer to the dryer. So let's get started on something.
got this garden cleaned up a little bit, done some weeding in here. Things are looking better. I've got a few bare spots here and there where something either didn't come up or I've got a few places where I planted two seeds and I've got to get rid of one of those. And I need to start working on building my trellises for my cucumbers and all that. But I've got a bare spot over here in my beans and I don't know what in the world happened, but there's either human malfunction and I forgot to seed about four foot worth of beans or something, I don't know. But moral of the story, a few weeks ago, you might remember me mentioning one of my new favorite herbs, the stevia plant. And I took four cuttings off of the top of that new plant that I had just brought home. And I don't know how long it's been. It's been maybe three weeks. But I'm gonna fill this bean row over here with these stevia plants. And I just wanted to show you how crazy the root systems took off on this thing in just a matter of a couple of weeks. All four of these little guys are just absolutely booming so i'm going to plant these in the garden and let them grow all season and i'll keep snipping that way they keep splitting and i'll harvest them also and run them through the dehydrator and then i can process down the leaves and we can use it in tea and stuff like that and yeah it'll be great i hope first time we'll try i don't know all i can do is put them in the ground and see how well they do I somehow ended up with this whole section right here and I had one come up somewhere right in the middle in there and something eat it off eat it off ate it off well I can't talk today uh, but I'm gonna plant these four little stevias in here they need a 18 to 24 inch spacing on them and they'll get about three foot tall and the more you trim them and the more they split the bushier they'll get so just another maintenance item in here that I'll have to take care of throughout the season but I think this will be something interesting to try to grow in the garden. So let me get these guys planted. So I've been down through all the squash. I had seven, eight, nine extra squash plants uh, where doubles were growing. I pulled quite a few of those up gently and I actually moved them over by the chicken coop and kind of hit them and planted them over there. Those can be a little surprise for the chickens when they find them. I'm sure it probably won't take them very long. My cucumbers, I did the Chicago cucumbers, uh, the Chicago pickling cucumbers. And those came from, uh, I might still have them in my pocket because I had to come back through. Yeah, look at there. I didn't have good luck with these guys coming up. I bet I had uh, maybe half of them come up because I, on my cucumbers and squash, I usually do two seeds every spot. And then once they come up, I'll come through on the weaker one and snub it out. But even planting all the cucumbers that I did and planting two on each one, there were several where only a solo came up and I had, I don't know how many spots, seven, eight different spots where nothing came up out of two seeds. So my germination rate on those were pretty sad. Um, I had a couple where two came up, so I pulled those plants and moved to an empty spot and then went ahead and put more seeds in beside those and I reseeded the empty spots. That way I can get full germination on all those. Uh, they're still young plants, so shouldn't be a big deal. I got my T-post up for my cucumbers and I've got some different netting that I'm gonna use on those uh, from Haas Tools. So once it gets here, I can get it strung up and that'll give the cucumbers a little bit of a trellis. Been making my way through these tomatoes here. These guys are out of control. Uh, I know I just showed them to you Friday and some of these have already reached the second ring since Friday. It's Monday. It's, it's like three or four days and we've grown nearly another foot. And it seems like in four days and it's just, and I've got three or four or five different plants down through there that's got little thumbnail sized tomatoes on them. So it won't be long and we'll have a little mess of tomatoes going already. And it's only May. 
it's going to be a bountiful year, I feel. But I made my way down through one row here and got my suckers off and everything. And I'm going to work my way down through the second row and trim anything that's hanging down, touching the ground and get rid of all the suckers and get them cleaned up and nice and neat and ready to go again for a few more days before they're in need of it again. So I'm going to keep on moving. Maybe I can move on to something else. I, I didn't think I was, I'm sure it's past lunchtime now. I've, I've done spent a half day in the garden and that wasn't on my agenda today. I had a little bit of time planned out here, but uh, oh well, it is what it is, right? We'll continue on. I think I've done about all the damage I want to do to the garden for today. Whew. Somehow squeezed a half a day in here. But uh, got everything cleaned up, weeded. Cucumbers are ready. Definitely looks better having that entrance cleaned up. It looks a whole lot nicer. Those gourds are going to take over that whole thing all the way up and over and around. And that's going to be gorgeous. Here soon in a few weeks. Those guys get to going. They're not going to stop. Uh, yeah, garden looks much better. Much better. Requires a lot of maintenance on a garden if you want it to look nice. Otherwise, Mother Nature will take over very fast. Now, I can get my sprinkler drug out and get it running. I run it for a little bit last night on these tomatoes. We had a chance of rain yesterday that became a sprinkle. And that was it. I think we've got another little chance tomorrow, but uh, you know how I feel about my weather, man. So I'm gonna go ahead and water today because we hadn't had rain in, oh, I don't know now, five or six days, whatever it's been. But it's just starting to dry a little bit. So it's time. I'll get some moisture on it today while I go shuffling chickens. So I'm gonna get the sprinkler set up and moved where I need it to be and start some water flow. That little monster right there was give out until B barked. I don't guess she's too worried about what B's after. You think B's got it under control, Miss Eve? Are you comfy in the dirt? You want me to love on you? Oh, sweet girl. Sweet girl. Yes, you're a sweet girl. Is it nap time? Am I interrupting your nap time? Sweet baby. I'm going to eat lunch, kid. Go back to your nap. <laughs> Not a problem. <laughs> and this is why I have trust issues with the weatherman. There's a chance of rain tomorrow, not today, but it's raining. So, go figure. Thanks, they're ready for bees. <laughs> Ain't a spoiled dog. I don't know what is. Are you, are you comfy? Do you need a pillow or anything? Can I get you a blankie? You silly goober. Are you taking over Miss B spot? I just keep interrupting your naps, don't I? You're good. Stay right there. It's raining. Yep, that's what I figured. What a rough life. The hairdo on that guy right there. 
Kind of looks like he's got a little man bun. Quite the colors coming out of these folks. You got some wild hair? No? Alright, it's time for some chicken shuffling. I've got these nine in here that have been in here for a couple of days now and I've got to get them out and get them to their food and water. They're running out of time. And then we're going to allow the rest of the eggs to sit in the incubator probably till tomorrow night or so. And if anybody else hatches, we'll move them out. If not, we got what we got. It is what it is, right? Hey, folks. We do have... Come here, little bitty guy. I'm trying to do this by myself. I ain't going to be fun. But that's all right. This little bitty gray silky. Don't look at me. Look at the camera. Tell them hi. How are you, little guy? Huh? We only had two out of the ten silkies hatch. And he just crapped in the floor. <laughs> okay, buddy. We'll put you in the box. Thank you, kind sir. That was exactly what I want. The other silky. It's this little bitty fella. Kind of a white, light gray. Got the feathered feet. You tell them about it. You ready to go find some food and water, buddy? Here, jump down here with you. With you, buddy. Next. Well, let's not be jumping out of the incubator. You say hi? Welcome to the world. Not quite as warm out here, huh? Hello. How are you? Do you want to say hi? Okay. You're awfully calm now. Say hello. You can't eat the cardboard box, guys. Several of these have a lot of Floki influence on them. Up in the box. What are you looking at, Ruby? You think about having chicken nuggets or what? 
and a list. Not me. Look over there. Say hi. Go get these guys in their new home. And here's what three weeks will get you. Amazing what three weeks will do. All right, guys, your food's right here. Quit trying to eat the pine shavings. I had to try my hand at least one of them today so I could say I started digging the holes. And I made it about 13, 14 inches on that one and hit some solid, solid rock. Uh, I checked on getting a hammer with my mini X this weekend and I said no. <laughs> the difference in price was like another 300 bucks to get the hammer with it because I had to step up to a bigger size machine and no thank you. Oh, if all else fails, I've got a big, big drill with some masonry bits, and I will drill this rock out by hand. Or rent a jackhammer or something like that. But I'll worry about that when I get to it, which will hopefully be tomorrow or sometime during the rest of this week. My plan, and I know we got a chance to rain tomorrow, but my plan this week is to get all these holes located. I'll get some makeshift batter boards put up out here and get all my holes laid out. There's 16 of them that I gotta dig. I gotta dig all of them as deep as I can go. And then my plan will be to dig it out with the Mini X while it's here if I have to. We picked up most of the plumbing stuff yesterday. Um, Friday, I plan on laying all my plumbing out and having it pretty much situated, ready to go and get everything laid out on the ground where all my stuff needs to be where it needs to go so that once i go pick up the mini x on friday uh, after 2 p.m i can start by leveling this out i just got the three inch difference that i gotta account for here so i gotta cut three inches off of one side and add it to the other i'm actually completely six inches out of level from one side to the other but it's three inches out if that makes sense so hopefully friday afternoon i can have this thing leveled even after i've got these holes dug then I'll just have to hand dig them back out. Shouldn't be a big deal. And then Saturday, knock out the plumbing. And I've got to run the electrical line in over here, run the sewer line out over there, run the water line in over here. And I've also got to set up for my propane line, which most of all that's going in the same trench. So it's not near as bad as it sounds, but just a whole lot of things to do at one time we, we do not have natural gas out here or i would tie into that but we will be setting up a propane tank um, i am deathly allergic to cooking on electric stoves that's all i can say I, i've got to have my gas to cook on uh, we've got the on-demand hot water heater at the cabin that also is set up for propane so we will be borrowing that from the cabin since it's not in use down there and we will be utilizing that in here We've got a propane stove at the cabin that's not currently being used, and we will utilize that here for now. Uh, poor people got poor ways, and we're gonna utilize what we have on hand for now. Uh, it's gonna be nice to set up a lot of things. We, we, we're, we're really excited about getting in this place, believe it or not. Uh, this travel trailer for a year has war on me, but quite a bit accomplished today. Garden's looking great up there. Uh, even with the little bit of rain we got today, I went ahead and fired the sprinkler up again just to make sure she's good and soaked in. I was kind of waiting for the sun to disappear off of it some. 
Uh, got the baby chicks situated, got them moved. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's been a day. It's absolutely been a day. I hadn't checked the forecast. I know we had a chance for tomorrow. I don't know what it looks like now. But hopefully I can get these batter boards up and get all that lined out tomorrow. Uh, we're supposed to have lumber delivery tomorrow. Six by sixes should be coming and all my three inch and four inch pipe and some conduit and some concrete and I don't know what all's coming tomorrow, whatever it was I ordered. And um, so hopefully they get that here without a hitch and with no problems. And other than that, uh, we're gonna slowly start working our way toward having all these holes dug and everything. We can get this plumbing done this weekend. Then next week, I should be able to start framing this thing up. And it really should go rather quickly. If everything goes as scheduled, fingers crossed here, I'm hoping to the Saturday after, not this Saturday coming, but the Saturday after we have the meetup in uh, Pryor, Oklahoma. And I'm hoping to, on that Sunday after the prior meetup, to be hanging the rafters on this building. I've got some help scheduled already for that day for the rafters. So as long as everything goes like it should, hopefully I'm hanging rafters. Uh, I've got to mess around and get my tin ordered here pretty quick because they said they were only three to five days out on the tin. So it's not too big of a crunch time on that. And I'm just rambling and rambling and rambling and I'll keep on rambling. But I think that's all I've got for today, guys. And I'm glad you had to hang out with me. We appreciate you coming and tagging along. And we will catch y'all on the next one.